Hey guys, so Thanksgiving is next week, and if you are still trying to figure out your Thanksgiving dessert menu, you are in luck. We have gotten together with a few of our favorite YouTube channels to bring you this playlist, Ultimate Thanksgiving Pies. So after my video is done, stick around because there'll be several other awesome pie recipes you'll definitely want to check out. Now who doesn't love a s'more sitting around a barbecue in the summertime? But imagine that in the shape of a pie during Thanksgiving. It'll be the hit of the party, I promise, and it couldn't be easier to make. So the first step is to make our graham cracker crust. Now, especially around the holidays, I hate to have to clean one more kitchen gadget, like a food processor. So one of the things I have figured out is that you can take graham crackers, put them in a Ziploc bag, and just give them a good whack with a rolling pin. And that will basically do the same thing. And then I end up with a finely ground graham cracker. You're gonna transfer the crumbs to a bowl and then add some melted butter. I also like to throw in a good pinch of salt. Then you wanna turn out your crumbs to a metal pie plate, usually about nine and a half inches will do. And then just working around the pie plate, kind of bring all those crumbs up to the side. That will create a really nice decorative crust when your pie bakes. Then you're just gonna set that aside while you make your chocolate mixture. In a large saucepan, you're gonna heat up some heavy cream. While your cream is heating up, you're then gonna take some chocolate chips and put them in a heat safe bowl. I like to do a mix of semi-sweet and milk chocolate. And then you're also going to add some butter. Then you're gonna take your hot cream and pour it over your chocolate chips and butter and give it a good whisk. You just wanna melt all that chocolate so it's smooth and creamy. Then you're going to add two eggs and one egg yolk. Mix that all together until combined and then add a teaspoon of vanilla. You're gonna pour out your chocolate mixture into your pie plate and then you're gonna bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes just until a toothpick comes out clean and the pie is set. To make your marshmallow topping, you're gonna to take some egg whites, some corn syrup, a little bit of salt, vanilla, and cream of tartar. You're gonna whip that all up just until you get stiff peaks and your mixture starts to become really glossy. Then you're slowly gonna add your sugar. Then you will see you will have this beautiful marshmallow cream. You're gonna transfer that onto your pie and just with a spatula start to create little soft peaks. Once you're done with your marshmallow topping, you can then refrigerate the pie if you're not serving right away. Then when it comes time to serve the pie, you wanna pop it onto the broiler for one to two minutes and watch that marshmallow brown. Now I do have to warn you guys about the marshmallow. It does burn very quickly. You literally have to stand there and watch your marshmallow kind of brown up. That way you will prevent having a burnt marshmallow top, which there's nothing worse. But if that does happen, you can actually scrape all of the marshmallow off, make another batch of marshmallow cream and start again. So that's it. That's how you make a s'more pie. I promise if you bring this to Thanksgiving, it will be the talk of the dinner. Who does not love a s'more? And in the shape of a pie, it's just a really fun dessert that everybody will love. I'll see you back here next week for a great idea for a hostess gift if you're traveling to somebody's house for Thanksgiving. It's my homemade pumpkin bread breakfast basket. A great idea if you just wanna do something a little bit different than the traditional bottle of wine.